I'll be seated. Do we need to move the door open there? Yeah, because I don't think there'll be any. Can you leave the door open? Because it's in there. I presume everybody's here with freedom. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Do you want to leave those cars going to the right? and I'm here to share for civil marriages for this jurisdiction. I would like to welcome each and every one of you here to join with Cliff and Marie in the solemnization of their marriage. We are gathered here in the presence of each other in order that Cliff and Marie should be joined together in the covenant of marriage. This is a union not to be taken lightly, inadvisably or thoughtlessly, but with true love and commitment. So at this stage, I want to invite Cliff and Marie just to come forward and I'm going to light their individual candles. And this symbolizes their single lives up until at this point today. I'd like to invite the readers to come forward and I believe Pete and Kira are going to read us. Okay, sure. okay. 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 Today is a day you will always remember, greatest in anyone's life. We start off today just two people in love and ended as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there'll be times when you both disagree, they'll surely be outweighed by the pleasure. You've heard many words of advice in the past, and the secrets of marriage were spoken, but you know the answers lie hidden inside, where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy ever forever as lovers and friends, it's the dawn of a new life for you. And as you stand there together with love in your eyes, from the moment you whisper, I do. 
and with luck and all your hopes and dreams can be real, and may success find its way to your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is a day of all stars. Now we feel no rain, for each of us will be sheltered to the other. Now we feel no cold, for each of us will be warm to the other. Now there is no loneliness, for each of us will be a companion to the other. We are two bodies, but there is one life before us and one home. When evening falls, I'll look up and there you will be. I'll take your hand, you'll take mine, and we'll turn together to look at the road we travel to reach this. The hour of our happiness, it stretches behind us. Even as the future lies ahead, along the winding road, whose every turn means the suffering, old hopes may not share the hopes, the adventures you see. Thank you, Kira. Thank you. Thank you. Cliff Emery, you both formally attended in the presence of the Civil Register on June 24, and on that occasion, a declaration was signed by you both stating that there is no lawful impediment to your marriage here today. Now, can I just ask you to stand? I now call on you both to make a verbal declaration in the presence of your witnesses to reaffirm that there still is no lawful impediment to your marriage today. So, Tiff, I'll start with you and I just want you to repeat it after me. I do solemnly and sincerely declare I do solemnly and sincerely declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment my eye cliff my eye cliff may not be joined may not be joined in matrimony in matrimony to me to me cliff do you understand the declarations you have now made? I do have you made them of your own free will and without your risk? I have can you hear okay? is that traffic you can mm -hmm. pass to? you're okay yeah so Marie same for you I do solemnly and sincerely declare. I do solemnly and sincerely declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. By I, Marie, may not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To live. To live. And Marie, do you understand the declarations you have now met? Have you met the number of three men of the Lapturus? I did. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cliff, will you have this woman, Marie, to be your wedded wife? I will. Will you love her and comfort her in sickness and in health? Yes. And Marie, will you have this man, Cliff, to be your wedded husband? I will. Will you love him and comfort him in sickness and in health? Now, can you space each other for the next little bit? And again, Cliff, back to you. Just want you to repeat that to me. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I cliff, to witness that I cliff, do take you, Marie, take you, Marie, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. Okay, and Marie, same for you. I call upon, I call upon these persons here present, these persons here present, to witness that I, Marie, to witness that I, Marie, do take you, cliff, to take you, cliff, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. Okay, and I think are you going to read your own vows at this stage? So you can need it first. Cliff, I promise to take care of you and love you to the best of my life and eternity.
solemnly bound themselves in wedlock before these witnesses and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Civil Registration Act 2004, I now pronounce them husband and wife. You can the right. I think you gave, gave them a little round of applause. <laughs> Speech. Hold on! Whoa! Hold on! I'm lost. Right? Okay? Done. There we go. Right. Hello, everyone. As you know, I'm Marie's big sister. Well, what can I say about Marie? Well, I love my sister very much. No, I don't. Now I'll tell you the truth. I don't. As I never wanted a little sister, I was quite happy. Just me and my four brothers. Till this little black haired thing came along. And she was black haired. But well, okay. Uh, oh, came along. You have all heard the story of Cinderella and her wicked stepmother. Well, I was a wicked sister. One day, many, many, many years ago, my mum trusted me with her. So I put her in a push chair and off we went for a walk. Well, I went for a walk, but we went strolling down the bank. <laughs> so I let her go. So I thought it was funny, I laughed. Let her go. I, I let her go. Touch. <laughs> right, do you want the real story? Right. I pushed her down the bank and we lived in the bottom of our lane. There was a stream. So there was Louie, at the bottom of the screen, in the screen, trying the lights out. And I still thought it was funny, and I did pull it out. I was thinking, what a in the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was funny, and my friend said I'd better run after her. I must have loved her really, because she's still here, and she knows I've been telling her this story today. Right. Here's another short story. I remember. Up. 
She was always falling out with her friends at school. Oh, yes, she was. <laughs> she was always falling out at school with her friends, and her big mouth that she had, she was always like this. And she says, you can't pick on me until I get my big sister, which sometimes I did help. Right. Oh. As we, as, I, as we grown up, I was protecting her, as I was only her big sister. Uh, we've grown closer and closer over the years since our mom passed away many years ago when Marie was young. Now I've become, now I'm going to cry, now I've become her mom as well as her big sister. And I think I've done a good job so far. Well done. <sighs> I will miss her and Kevin when they leave. Not Australia, for, for America. But you never, fe but never fear, little sis. Your shadow will always be here. You might be wondering why I am called Shadow. Well, my niece Tara, many years ago, called me this because every time they went away, I had to go to. So this is how I got the nickname Shadow. Right, where am I? Okay. Uh, oh. So, okay then. A while ago, a new name told you. So, Cliffy, now you've got two for the price of one. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Seri seriously. My hair was black. Seriously, yeah. Seriously, I'm so happy for you both. Cliffy, you, you turn to look after her. No, it's your turn to look after her. Now remember, you know what I can do. <laughs> right. I know how much she means to you, Cliff, uh, uh, as it's only took you 40 years to finally pluck up the courage. And now you're Mr. and Mrs. And I'm so proud to call you my brother. Just, just before I go, this is for you, Billy. I know you will be worrying about leaving Jack and Tara behind when, they, when you go and make your new life in America with Cliff. But don't worry, I will take care of them both, just like I have looked after you all these years. I love you, sis. <laughs>